custom module and this is the manifest file for our custom module and under the depends we'll have to add auth signup because it is very important now these are the controllers and models now we'll go to the ir http file of our model and uh, we've created here auth method here which is named as custom auth you can name it whatever suits you it can be private api or it can be private auth or rest api whichever suits you we are choosing to go with custom auth because here today we are creating custom auth type in controller for authentication we are creating a sample api using which we will get the list of countries which are present there in odoo So now we're choosing to go with the name custom auth and our authorization type would be bearer and the rest users API key here will cross check and verify our API key that we have generated here from Udo. So we'll generate our API key. Make sure the description is clear and precise. This is one of the most important steps of this entire process. Now in the route of this controller, we'll have to pass custom auth as the auth parameter because we have named it custom auth. Then rest country is going to get the list of countries present in Odoo. In the postman, we'll add our server URL. In our case, it is going to be localhost slash API slash countries this is the route of the controller and under authorization we'll pick the bearer token as our type and we'll add the api key that we have generated from Udo. the method here will be get method and we've also mentioned that in the controller and now we'll click on send and here we have the list of countries from Udo 16.